Yo, this is just a quick reminder that my Keep It Slowpoke merch is still available for a limited time. You can hit that link in the description and support the channel while looking fresh and supporting our boy Paul at the same time. So last episode, we took our first steps into the wild area, and this place is pretty cool. Before we continue too much further, I wanted to go ahead and take a look at some options in the menu here. Um, one thing to notice is actually it's kind of cool at the very bottom there, it mentions um, kind of objectives. See, Dynamax Pokemon spotted, there's a thunderstorm somewhere in the wild area. And then also, at the very beginning there, it does say, find your way through the wild area to reach Motostoke next. So it always kind of leads you in the right direction, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I also noticed that we do have the option for Pokemon Camp here as well. And we are going to check out what this is all about, because we've not messed with this too much yet. And we're going to see what, uh, oh my god, we toss out our Pokemon and everything. In your Pokemon Camp, you and your Pokemon can play together and even eat together, growing closer through the experience. If your Pokemon grow very close to you, they may even try extra hard for you during battle. You can play using your Joy-Con too. If you slide your Joy-Con off your system, you can wave one about to throw a ball for your Pokemon to retrieve, or wave a Poke Toy for their delight. If you waggle that Poke Toy, you may even notice, you may even entice Pokemon hanging out farther back in your camp to come play. Right, when you set up camp in the wild area, you'll be able to play with up to three other trainers at a time. All kinds of people and Pokemon might stumble upon your camp, even those you've never met before, so you get to know them as you play together. Very interesting. Uh, so here we have kind of just our squad is just, just stretching the old legs out. We can hit Y to take out the toy. <laughs> and uh, come on, Sobble. I know you want it, buddy. We got him. We got him. What is what is the point of this? <laughs> Foxy Boy's gonna come running. Okay, this is... We can change toys? Hold up, we can get a ball? He's like, what the hell was it? Oh! Oh my god, he's playing fetch. Why did that not go anywhere, though? Give it back, buddy. Give it back. A received ball. Uh, can we just launch this thing? Nope, that... Okay. <laughs> So this is rather interesting. I thought that this was going to be... How do we do the, how do we do the whole food thing? We're going to go ahead and quit camping. Uh, we'll probably mess around with that more later. You and Pokemon enjoyed camping and gained some EXP points. What? We get experience for that? Okay. That is not something I expected, but kind of cool. Alright. So, uh, we're headed just over there. But before we get there, I assume we should probably do a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of exploring, see what we can find. There's a Haunter right here, which is probably going to be an absolute beast. We saw last episode that they are very high leveled. And those are not the ones we want to mess with. So, let's check out what else there might be in this here grass. See if anything crazy pops up. We do have something wild we can run into right here. It's going to be a Nuzleaf. Uh, so, we did actually run into a C dot at some point. Now, we got a Nuzleaf here, which is kind of funny. Super random. Nuzleaf is one of the Pokemon that always kind of weirded me out. Look at his little nipples. Why, why is this Pokemon a thing? I, are we going to just peck it and kill it? Just doing the Lord's work out here. It's going to astonish. And we're actually just pure flying types, so that is going to affect us. Peck is going to be a nice and easy two-hit KO. This Nuzleaf is fast as hell and it gets hardened. Since when does Nuzleaf harden? I don't... I do not remember that. I guess it kind of... Makes sense as a C dot, but all right. Down goes the Nuzleaf, and uh, boys, we are waiting for the day we run into a shiny Pokemon. That is that is gonna be that is gonna be damn exciting. All right, continuing. There's just freaking Wingles all over the place out here. What's up with all the Wingles? Uh, like I did mention last episode, it is pretty much confirmed that if you do run into a shiny Pokemon that is in the overworld, like if we just run into this Wingle right here. Um, we wouldn't be able to see it was shiny until you actually run into it, which is kind of unfortunate because I did like uh, one of the things that was the coolest features in uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee was that the shiny Pokemon were in the overworld, which I thought was pretty sweet, but we could not get away from this Wingle. Damn it. Come on, Tootsie. You got it. We're trying one more time. Couldn't get away again. Damn. Why? Why? Why is my bird Pokemon so damn slow? Come on, buddy. You can just fly away. We're going to try running one more time. It there we go. We got away safely that time. <laughs> Alright. Um, I really want to see how do I heal my Pokemon in the Pokemon camp. Hold on. We, ha we must have had to just do the feeding thing. I don't know if I have any food though. That's probably why we couldn't do it. So they mentioned last time uh, that you can actually... 
you can feed your Pokemon if you have like, oh my god, Wooloo's just rolling around, I love it. If we press A, we can just whistle. But other than that, we can't really... Oh my god, he's kind <laughs> Oh lord, he coming! <laughs> this is actually really cool, I like it. Okay, we're gonna quit camping. But I assume we're gonna need to come across a sack of potatoes or something to be able to feed him. But, alright. Just gonna continue. Uh, this seems like a pretty relatively small wild area. We can kind of just see the entire area, unless there's much more to be doing over this way. We have uh, some Panchams right there, which is kind of cool. We're gonna run into whatever this is. I'm excited to see. Oh, it's an Oddish. Hot damn. What's up, little buddy? This is actually great for Tootsie. We're just gonna continue to keep packing all these grass types. Uh, because we do need some experience. I'm assuming our first gym battle is gonna be in this next city we're coming up on. So we're gonna peck you, Oddish. Doing some consistent damage. Acid. Do not use acid, kids. This Oddish is a poor... Okay, I forgot about my or Orinberry. Nice. Poor influence Oddish. Alright. Orinberry's gonna help us out a little bit. Gonna keep us alive a little bit longer. One more peck. Down goes ye old Radish. See you later, buddy. So it seems that there's a lot more... Um, older generation Pokemon in the wild areas. Dexter wants to learn Water Pulse. You best believe we're forgetting something for that. Water Pulse at 60 base power also has a chance to confuse. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of Growl probably. We'll keep Water Gun around for basically no reason. But now we just have two options for Water types. Not too bad. Dexter at level 12. We are getting close to seeing what the hell that thing even turns into. Slowly but surely. Uh, we're gonna try to go over this way farther. Actually, okay, hold up. This this uh this wild. Oh my god, there's a Galvantula right there. This wild area is actually pretty large. I think we're probably gonna dedicate most of this episode to kind of just exploring around in the wild area because here we have the rolling fields, South Lake Mylock. So it actually does have like kind of just an alternate route. So I didn't even actually see this whole area before. This wild area is actually huge. I thought it was small. Turns out it's actually pretty massive. Um, we cannot fish off the big ledge. But, holy shit, there's a Machoke right there. <laughs> we are not gonna run into that thing, because they will absolutely destroy us. There is Machops around here, though. So this is kind of, it seems to be like a, a freaking nest. We got Machops all over the place. In certain areas, there's, like, in the beginning we had the Wingle area, there was tons of Wingles. Over here we have tons of Machops. Uh, we're just gonna just do a little bit of grinding in here. So that way we are fully prepared. Or our gym battle thing is going to lead us. And I uh, haven't seen anything in terms of new Gatler Pokemon in the wild area yet. But I'm sure there is. This thing's level 14, so actually a pretty solid Machop. It leered us, which is actually going to allow it to do a decent amount of damage. It's just going to go right for a low sweep, which shouldn't do much. Uh, that's actually going to knock us down to 3. Drops our speed. And we do get off another pack. Not going to be quite enough. This Machop at level 14 is a freaking... Freaking beast, it's higher than any of my Pokemon. We'll go into, uh, we can't go into Swiper. This thing absolutely hates that. Gene as well. We have two Dark types. I probably should do something about that. But the team, at the moment, is kind of just a work in progress. We're mostly just running around catching new stuff and just kind of seeing what we can find. But soon we'll have an established kind of squad. We gotta obviously keep Sobble. Keep Sobble around. Jesus. Tit that low sweep did way too much damage. We do activate the Orenberry, but... Bruh. We're gonna try to water pulse this thing. Level 14, you're scary. We need to, uh... I would like to kill this, because it is gonna give us some solid experience. It is faster, even though we're freaking timid. We live it with one HP. That Orenberry saved us. You guys remember when I put those Orenberries on my Pokemon? It was all worth it. The water pulse is gonna knock it out. Sobble is not going down today. Ladies and gentlemen, we get some solid experience. Gene level 8, Swiper level 11, Tootsie 12. Wants to learn Fury Attack. Uh, Tetsu, well, I guess we'll get rid of... Uh... Actually, no, we're not learning Fury Attack. Ain't nobody got time for it. Cornelius level 9. Not bad. But, uh... That was interesting. There's just so much to explore. We got a bridge over here. Hold up. We gotta go check out the bridge. Skuntank just spawns out of nowhere. Uh, we're gonna have to do some serious catching as soon as we get to higher levels. Oh, shit. Kingler just... Oh, my God, no. He's so fast. Get out of my way. Wow, that was intense. There's also Krabby's right here, which is super cool. Uh, that's a Stunky. Over here we have a Corefish. 
There is just so many options. This is amazing. I really like this a lot. Holy shit, there's a Gyarados right there. Guys, this is awesome. I really like this wild area. I think that they... Oh, there's also a Crawdont. They really killed it with the wild, wild area. I really feel like we probably should wait to explore some more. Hold on. We have a... We have a trainer right there. I'm kind of afraid, afraid to bet. Oh my god, there's a Steelix too. Hello? Just floating around, huh? Also, we have a Snova right here. I am just so content just exploring around. We should probably heal up a little bit. Let's get, uh, let's just use a regular potion on Tootsie here. Uh, we'll actually go for two of them, get you to full, just in case we get ourselves in a situation. We don't want to battle the Snovers. But I guess we should probably go toward that beam of light over there. That seems like something we should probably get into, huh? Man, it is really cool exploring this. We've always seen we've seen a lot of clips of this, of the wild areas. What is that thing? Is that a slack slack no wait? Slack off? Hello? Oh, it's a snow runt. I was like, could not tell what this thing was. Very strong looking snow runt. Not just a regular one. I think that has some type of indication of um, it's IVs. It's level 35. Oh my god, what happens if I can't run? Oh no, I can't. I just encountered the world's scariest snow runt. This is terrible. Can I run? Okay, we got away safely. It just absolutely destroyed my Tootsie, who I just wasted two potions on. And that is basically going to be our cue to get the heck out of here. We, oh my god, a Corviknight! Oh my god, I want you so badly, but I know you're just going to absolutely destroy my team if I try to mess with you at all. So, we're going to just hold off on that. But soon, we're going to come for you, buddy. I'm coming for your ass. So, we can't go under the bridge. We obviously just need to go straight uh, up to those stairs. And I could spend all day in the wild area. Definitely need to do some grinding to the team. But uh, at least we know what to expect. There's a freaking Lipard right there. So many cool things. They actually go running after you pretty, pretty quickly. So you gotta be careful. Those things, super high leveled. I, I also did actually hear that, oh my god, a Garbodor. Um, if you encounter a Pokemon, oh, hold up, we found a note. Wild area is overflowing with a special sort of energy measured in watts. You can gather watts yourself from glowing Pokemon dens and glowing Pokemon in the wild. Also find trainers in the wild area who are willing to give you all sorts of items if you'll just give them some of your watts. Cool. Like I was saying, I think that Pokemon that are higher level than you in the wild area are shiny locked. Meaning you cannot find shinies there. So that's rather interesting. Also, are you, you going to battle me? What's going on here? Hey there, trainer. You're just taking your first step into the world of camping. People call me the Camping King. I can help you out with all your camping needs. Remember, everyone starts out as a rookie. Got any questions about camping? Feel free to ask me. Anything camping related you'd like some help with? Want to change my tent color? Rate my curry decks, please. No thanks. So, something about tent colors that seems interesting. So, what would you like to do? Spend my watts? I don't, I don't have very many. Uh, I can get a quick ball for 50 watts. I have 60, so... We can get the TM for Thunderbolt for 5,000, which is amazing. This is actually really cool. We can get the TM for Surf, Stone Edge, Leaf Blade, Crunch, Thunderbolt. Some really good stuff if we spend time collecting watts. Uh, so, that's pretty freaking sweet. What do we have here? There's energy pouring out from the den. You gain 300 watts. Uh, so nice. Max raid battles. Defeat a Dynamax Pokemon and you'll get a chance at catching it. Additionally, there's some rare items that you can only obtain by battling Dynamax Pokemon. When wild Pokemon Dynamax, they become incredibly powerful. They may unleash multiple moves in a row and take other actions you won't see in regular battle. Working together with other trainers will be key as you take on these Dynamax Pokemon together as a team of four. Uh, cool. So we can invite some others. We're probably not going to be able to do that for now. Um... But we will come back to that stuff. Also, what do you do? I don't... It doesn't seem like y'all are trainers. Crazy strong, flush with cash. Why won't anyone battle me? How about you? Dare to take me on? Not right now because my Sobble's about dead. My bird's about dead. We are... We're struggling. Okay. Before we get too crazy and <laughs> get too deep into the wild area, we're going to head up the stairs. See what there is to do over there. We're going to kind of just progress a little bit. Uh, we can come back here at any point later. Just gonna climb up the stairs like freaking Rocky Balboa. And we have arrived in a Moto Stoke, I believe. Uh, so we got a little bit of loading going on. In this place, be looking amazing. Guy's got an Onyx over there. 
And I do actually remember that little oil drilling thing from when they first re announced Sword and Shield. Uh, the starter score bunny was running on that thing. What is happening, Moto Stoke? Pretty sweet. There's a poster of a Dynamax Charizard. Honestly, I don't know how you guys can anybody can hate on this game. This is amazing so far, at least in my opinion. So we have a, po a Poke Center over here. We are going to, first things first, hit that up, but hold up, Sonya's here. What is poppin'? Oh my god, did you see that? <laughs> Look at the poster over there to the left, it's like an advertisement. Real ace of you to make it through the wild area. Seems like you tr your trek ran your Pokemon ragged though, you should pop into the Pokemon Center. Besides, there's something in there I bet you'll get a kick out of if you're a real trainer and all. No, I sure am. I'll get a kick out of it, Sonya, don't you, don't you doubt me. Got a little yamper running. Looks like the Rotom's free. He's napping though, we can't wake him. Rotom here, kind of Rotom information service. It's a handy machine for trainers, so you can even use one to customize your league card. Why don't you play, try playing around with your league card a bit, Hayden? Here's a sample for you. Okay, so we got Leon's league card. What is this? Show off your achievements by making a league card. You can customize the card using the card maker found at every Pokemon Center. Doing so will also update your card with all the latest information. Trainers all have their own league cards. You can swap cards with other trainers, and you can connect using communication features. You can view all league cards you've collected by checking out the album, which you can find in the league card option of the X menu. Interesting. But Motostoke sure is big, right? Not to worry, Sonya, he's here to show you around a bit. Come find me after you heal your Pokemon. All right. Cool, so we shall find Sonya after. Get a bit worked up. I want to think how exciting and moving it was to actually stand on a stadium's pitch for the first time. So damn exciting. I'm really stoked to see how our first gym battle goes. Anyway, before we continue, we do need to heal up. And uh, the team is looking a little bit weak at the moment. We definitely, we need something to freaking evolve. That is for sure. But, the team's looking pretty good nonetheless. Also, uh, the Rotom has awoken. We are going to hit up the old Pokemart really quickly. Because, we need some more potions. We can only get regular Pokeballs at the moment. Also, only regular potions. Let's get like 10 regular potions for 2,000. We have a decent amount of money. What does this other guy sell? It's the same stuff. Just some interesting balls, okay. Yeah, and some X items. So, you look important. What's up? Say, if you've got a Bunnelby, would you like to trade it for my Squivet? I sure don't, but I know I can get a Bunnelby. All right, we're about to head on out. And apparently we're supposed to find Sonya. No, no one knows where Hop is. Oh, she's just right out front. Hey, look at there's a uh, one of them Gen Seven little lads, the Serena thing. Wild Dairy, do you remember what your goal in Motostoki is? I'm here for the gym challenge. Yes, gym challenge opening ceremony. We about to go check out the ceremony. Very interesting. All right. By the way, the ceremony tomorrow is being held at the Motostoki Stadium. Okay. Makes sense. Use that lift over there to get to the stadium, okay? Okay, it's an interesting looking lift. Well, laters, I'm gonna swing by the shops while I'm here, but don't forget to register at the stadium, okay? Okay, stop saying K. You grinded my gears, lady. Okay, so she's gonna check out some shops, which means we can check out some shops as well. Uh, what's going on over here? I always bring flowers home on special days or even normal days. My Pokemon loves the scent of flowers so much. I love flower Pokemon, cool. We use Pokemon Move Growth to raise our flowers, so they get rather large. Cool, so not really much going on there. We can go grab a freaking haircut up in here. What is happening? I'm here for the cuts. Line me up, girl. $3,000 makeup? I think we're going to leave our hair how it is for now. I'm trying to I'm trying to save up my money to get swagged out on clothes. Uh, we do have the clothing shop here, so we can go check out what kind of options we got now. Uh, we did check out one shop right in the very beginning. There wasn't a whole lot. Uh, Poliwag top. Oh my Jesus. There is a luxury holiday top. Sea urchin. <laughs> Got some polos now. Not bad. I do kind of want a hoodie though. I'd rather have a hoodie. Tracksuit jacket. Alright. Swag. The champ hoodie. Swag. Varsity jacket though. Drip too hard, you guys don't want to stand too close, you might fuck around and drown. Designer denim. Oh, we cop in the design. 11,000? Well, that's the price you pay for looking fresh in the designer denim. Hot damn. 
Do I need a hoodie, too? I think I might need a hoodie. We're grabbing the fucking champ hoodie, too. Yes, I would like to put it on at once. I think I said no to that before. How do I, like... Ooh, the sunglasses, though. We only have 17 grand. We're done shopping for now. How do I put on my... I'm afraid to use the changing room. Hold on, we're gonna hop in there. So I guess you can kind of just use all the stuff you've bought. Um, we do want to go to our designer denim, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that look. Honestly, not bad. We're going to update our league card, so I guess that's going to show what our trainer looks like. And hey, look at it, Sonia. What's up, lady? My grand told me I needed to go on a journey, but a girl needs a bit of joy in her life, too. Are you here to do some shopping as well? Don't forget to register at the stadium. Cool. Well, we got a little bit more swagged out. We're looking, we're looking good. Changed up the look a little bit. Speed is important. It lets you attack first. What's happening with the Onyx here? Onyx is big, but it can get even bigger by Dynamaxing. How's it? Came all the way from Alola to watch the gym challenge in person. Cool. If I could choose my own uniform number, which one should I pick? Can't make up my mind. Can't wear the same uniform as my favorite gym leader. I'd get way too nervous. What do we have over here? What's up, guy? Here, let me give you these high-tech earbuds. Oh, no need to thank me. It's just a whim. So he's going to give us a set of high-tech earbuds. Can I, like, put those on? Key items pockets. Strange earbuds that allow you to freely control the volume of various sounds. Interesting. When you put them in your ears, they actually let you control the sounds in your surroundings. You can even make them stop specific sounds, like Pokemon Cries. So that's kind of just a cool little customization thing. Uh, we can actually not go in there. I think this is very well designed, because the ultimate goal is to get to this thing. But you can just stop at all the shops on the way. A lot of cool stuff to see. Mr. Rose has a real love for the Gala region. It's not enough to keep, all this, all this, keep us all supplied with energy even supports the gym challenge cool and it seems like that's probably I definitely missed some stuff but we're gonna head over this way hold on we're gonna talk to you always frightened by airplanes and whatnot how those giant chunks of metal move so fast Pokemon don't bother me bother me though airplanes are crazy man all right so someone's guarring at us hello oh it's freaking Charizard and it's the boy himself I'd surely never make it to the stadium without you to show me the way, partner. Even with huge old thing like the bang in the middle of the city, I still get lost. Aiden, all right. What's happening, boy? One luck tells me you've become a trainer worthy of the endorsement I gave you. And yes, I reckon you might even be ready to use this. Here, try giving this to your partner to hold. He's going to give us a mystic water. Nice. So that is an item that increases the power of water moves, which is great. We can give that to our Sobble. You can take that lift up to the city's upper level if you're headed for the stadium next. Very cool. All right, uh, before we go too far, let's go ahead and just give Dexter the old held item. He's gonna open the bag. Very nice of him to give us a uh, give us a Mystic Water. Very nice. So now we have uh, access to some pretty powerful um, water pulses. Oh my jeez, that was way too quick. Boy about to throw up. And what the hell is this guy? Guy has a Pokemon, a Pokeball head. Tada! You took the time to take talk to a Pokeball, so you deserve a little reward. <laughs> and we get a Pokeball. So it seems you do get pretty re like well rewarded for talking to people in this game. In case you were wondering, not just any old Pokeball, but then who am I, you ask? Well, the answer is simple. They call me the Ball Guy. The Ball Guy, huh? That's spooky as hell. I don't like it. It's eerie. The stadium is so huge. I wonder how many houses would fit inside. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so there's Hop over there. We're gonna just see what these people are talking about. Meadowspoke Stadium. This is where the opening ceremony is held. Exhibition matches are super exciting, too. Gym leaders will show up for the gym challenge opening ceremony. So I guess we're about to witness the opening ceremony, but there's actually, you can go quite... Oh, it doesn't let us go any farther to the left. So it looks like we are gonna just head right into the stadium. This place be looking pretty crazy. What's happening, friends? You made it, too? Sure did. Mudderstoke Stadium. This is where the opening ceremony will be held. Everyone will be watching the opening ceremony for the gym challenge. My mum, your mum, the whole world. A whole world. It's getting me a bit nervous, really. Nah, this isn't nerves. I'm only trembling because I'm so excited. Come on, Hayden. It's time the world learned our names. I have a feeling this is going to be pretty damn cool. We're just going to head right in. See what is happening. Got some crazy language on all the signs. It's also like a keybone statue, was that what it was? But you take a look at this. This place is packed with gym challengers. Every one of these folks is another rival. Hell yeah. 
let's get signed up. I probably need to grind up before we do any of this, these shenanigans. <laughs> but I guess we'll see what's going down. Ooh, she's sassy as hell. That is someone we're going to need to destroy. Seriously, what a piece of work. If you're here to register for the gym challenge, I'll need to see your endorsement, please. Don't worry, we're endorsed. We ain't no peasants. We're gonna hand over the old slip. Fancy that, this is the first time we've had a challenger endorsed by the champion. Yeah, no big deal or anything. We're just kinda, we're just endorsed by the champion. You know, just, that's, how, that's the way it goes. Two of you at once, I wonder what's come over Leon this year. Two of you must be something special. I'm Hop, I'm Leon's little brother, in fact. I wouldn't tell him that, it's, it's not that cool, buddy. Your brother freaking endorsed you? Well, yes, I'm trying to, if you give me a moment. Yeah, hurry up, guy. Two have been sex successfully <laughs> sexually registered as gym challenges. Uh, you can now choose your preferred number for your uniform, if you'd be so kind. It will be displayed on the back of the uniform you must wear for any official match. We get to choose a number? <laughs> I'm pretty sure every single person is choosing number 69, but that was... That was obvious. All the trainers taking part have been booked at a room at the nearby Budu drop-in. That's what the league, that's the league chairman for you. Even booked us all hotel rooms. Off to check out the fancy digs. We got hotel rooms? Oh yeah, all right. Uh, so, what happens if I talk to you? Sorry, but only challengers taking on the gym mission can go beyond this point. Well, dang it. Heard this year's gym challengers include trainers that were endorsed by the chairman and even the champion. Yep, eh, no big deal, that's just me. I was endorsed by the chairman himself. In other words, among those elite enough to get an endorsement, I'm the most elite of all. So why don't you clear off and try not not try talking to me again? Wow. What an absolute bitch. Everyone here is a fellow gym challenger. Uh, so you can't just talk to them, but their little speech bubble comes up, which is interesting. What about you? Looking a bit gobsmacked by all this. Must be some from some small country town, is that it? Gobsmacked? Hello? Hey, look at it, it's one of them more Picos. Uh, this thing is the little Pikachu thing that has two different forms, which is interesting. Heaps of us starting out like this, but only a small number will make it to the end. Oh, I'm gonna make it, don't you worry. Let's all do our utmost as gym challengers. All right, time to get on out of here and see where the hell Hop went. I thought, uh, so, cause the, the ceremony isn't actually till tomorrow, so. You must be Challenger Hayden. The Badu Drop In is down this way if you'd be so kind as to follow me. The Badu Drop In. Sounds like a place you could buy some weed. Alright. Heading over to the left, because now those people are going to freaking let us. And we'll go see what we're working with. Is this it right here? Challenger Hayden, we've arrived at the Badu Drop In. What is going down over here? Try to get some rest and build your strength for what's to come. Ooh. Interesting, a little foreshadowing there. Shit's about to get crazy. So we will head just directly in. See, I assume we'll find a hop. Ooh, look at the statue. That boy be looking powerful. Hiya, looks like you both got yourselves registered. Sure did, Sonya. Oh, hey, Sonya, what are you doing in our hotel? Researching the mysterious Pokemon that are said to be in the slumbering wells. I reckon if I look into some Galar legends, I might try to figure out something out. Yeah, we saw the legendary the freaking day one, man. You're already here anyway. Yeah, I'll join you. Don't you worry. What's this then? This guy looks important. It's a statue of a hero who once saved the Gala region. You can run through the legend right quick if you fancy. Uh, the short version, please. Long ago, a great black storm covered the Gala region. People called it the darkest day. The land was assaulted by gigantic Pokemon, but they were defeated by a single young hero bearing a sword and shield. The statue here is meant to depict the young hero of, what, of that legend. Cool. Well, that was quick. Suppose the hero must have been about as strong as Lee, then. Looks like you're going to have your hands full with plenty of research, though, Sonya. Black storms and sword, swords and shields and all. I'm going to tell her she'll, she will be all right. I have faith, Sonya. I'll muddle through somehow, don't you worry. You two are staying here at the hotel tonight, though, aren't you? Shouldn't you check in? Probably so. We'll look out for you, too, Sonya. If we hear anything about any hero or whatnot, we'll tell you. All right, so time to check in, I guess. We're excited for the old... Whoa, hold on. Are these... What's, what's popping over here? Came all the way through the big city so that we could properly cheer on the gym challengers. Team Yell is here to help, after all. You're in for a battle if you want to stop us. Ooh, Team Yell, huh? Well, it looks like we got a battle. Our first encounter with the evil team here. These people are looking like straight-up clowns. 
even worse <laughs> than the last freaking team. Didn't we tell you, mate? You get in our way, and you're in for a battle. Team Yell's about helping, helping one very special trainer win the gym challenge. That is, we're going to make sure he gets, she gets cheered on nice and proper. Now you're going to help us make some noise. What is up with the outfit, though? Look at the belly on this guy. He's got like a, one of them horn things. Okay, he's got a Zigzagoon. Very fitting for this team to have the punk rock ass Zigzagoon. Uh, so any fighting move would absolutely obliterate this thing, but we do not have any. So level 9 Zigzagoon. We are going to go ahead and I guess just pack. It's probably not going to do much. We have a couple levels on this thing. Uh, so we shall see. Almost as half. Actually not too bad. I really should put another berry on old Tootsie Pop here. How many licks does it take to get to the center of his Zigzagoon? Looks like about three. Oh, oh my god, and he just licked me right as I said that. That was... That was weird. Just licked my Tootsie Pop. Fitting. The puns are everywhere. Alright, we do get paralyzed, but we break through. One more peck is gonna knock out the Zigzagoon. See you later, little buddy. Get some solid experience. And that's all he's got. Went looking for a fight and I lost. I'm so pathetic. Get $720. Do I have to battle more of you, or was that it? Give me a break here, Team Yell. Get revenge for me, would ya? Oh, well, okay, I guess we do have to go at all of them. Of course, I got you covered, mate. What could be better than a battle in a lovely hotel lobby? Yeah, the guy standing behind the desk is like, Hey, could you guys, like, take this outside? You're kind of, like, fucking up our whole lobby here. You gotta nick it. So, they do seem to all have dark types, which is cool. Tootsie is paralyzed as hell, and this is not good for us. So, um... Let's switch it up here. We have not used Snowball, like, at all. But only at level 9, it just doesn't seem... Like, we're going to be able to do too much, considering they're level 9 as well. So, you know what? We're going right into Dexter. We do need to start grinding up our Wooloo. I have not forgotten about our sweet boy, <laughs> Snowball. But, uh... So, I mean, we'll, ha we'll have to give him some love soon. If it's a... Is it even a male? I haven't even looked. Just assuming Wooloo's gender out here. Gonna hit me with a quick attack. That is fine. Dexter takes that like a beast. We're gonna bust out our new Mystic Water here. With the Water Pulse, that is gonna do... Almost enough to knock it out. One more is going to do it. Although, not until we get quick attacked yet again. And you did. You know, that thing reminds me of the main character of Zootopia. I really don't remember its name. Is that... Does anybody else feel that? Okay. Cornelius learned Bite. Nice. This one has been defeated. Must have gotten a bit carried away being in this swanky hotel and all. Sorry for getting in your way. Yeah, you better apologize, you team yell. Oh man, the swanky sophisticated Aaron here had me off my game. Couldn't keep my cool. Do I have to battle the other? I wasn't expecting checking in to be such a big fuss. What's going on? Sneaking in some Pokemon battles without me? Don't think you can get ahead of me that easily. Need to get some training in? So I'm joining. Here, I'll even heal your Pokemon too. Nice, he's going to heal us up, and I guess we have a... Are we going to double battle with Hop? Yeah, nice two on two. So we're going to finish off the next two with Hop. So this should be cool. Our first double battle of the game. Interesting to see. A little bit laggy, it seems, on that screen. Something I noticed. All right. Nick it and a Zigzagoon. Uh, Tootsie is still in front, but we did get healed up, which is nice. So, we're just going to go ahead and peck on the Zigzagoon. Poor little Wooloo going to get quick attack. Doesn't that thing look like a straight-up snowball? I want to hug Wooloo so damn badly. And <laughs> I just love his tackle animation. So we team up on the Zigzagoon turn one. Lick, don't paralyze me, please. Thank you for that. Uh, we will... We're going to attack the Nick at this time. We're going to assume that Hop's going to go for the Zigzagoon again. Tootsie's gross... Or cl gross... Close to being level 13. Our pecs are starting to do a little bit more damage. No, now we're just going right for the Nick it, so... We've got them both down to kill range. That's going to hit us both. It does actually also lower my special attack, but that is fine because we out here using physical attacks. So one more peck. We're going to finish off the Nicket. Heckin' quick attack, though. Yeah, Tootsie. You got this, buddy. Down goes the Nicket. And then the Wooloo should be able to finish up the Zigzagoon for us. Tootsie grows to level 13. Not even bad. Very interesting uh, battle-like environment here, seeing as it's just basically a nice little white area. This reminds me of the freaking SpongeBob episode where Squidward's in like the 
the void area. You, you, you know what I'm talking about. All right, try to learn Snarl. Let's take a look at that. Snarl, uh, 55 base power. It is a special attacking dark move, which is not too bad. We're gonna get rid of, we're gonna get rid of Leer. Snarl's not too shabby. Definitely better than having Leer, because we're never gonna use that. Got Snarl instead, and they have been defeated. My voice is unsure when I'm sad. I wanna yell, but I'm unsure. This guy's got some issues. Came to see the gym leader open in ceremony, but this is awful. Now you guys gotta head on home, with you dead ass Pokemon. Guess it was defeat that I heard coming. I think I'm about to cry. <laughs> Don't cry. What are you lot doing here? Ooh, who do we have here? Emo chick. No, nothing. We was just, is this like the boss? Now you're all terribly curious about other gym challenges, but we gotta show a bit of restraint. Interesting, what is happening? Sorry about them, they're just a bunch of fans. Call themselves Team Yell and follow me around cheering for me. Think they've let it go to their heads a bit. What? They're just fan, they're just, just fans? Come on, you lot, back home with you now. Interesting. Uh, so this girl seems pretty damn cool. They're just caught up with wanting to support me and all they tend to get a bit shirty with other gym challenges. A bit shirty? What? A bit shitty? Sorry if they caused you any trouble. So you're a gym challenger too. Team Yell was it? Pretty impressive that you already have a set of fans to call your own. Yo, my goth girlfriend right here. Alright ladies and gentlemen. So we just had our first encounter with Team Yell. We're gonna go ahead and see what else there is to do before checking in. But we're going to have to do that next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.